Mother to Baby um, has been in operation since 1980, and it was an auxiliary program of Dr. Feingold's clinic, the National Birth Defect Center. At that time, it was called the Pregnancy Environmental Hotline, but then it became the Pregnancy Exposure Info Line, and now we're Mother to Baby. And so basically, we handle any question that has to deal with um, pregnancy, either before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and now we handle breastfeeding questions. So, um, you know, right now, of course, the hot button topic is COVID-19. We are actually listed on the CDC website as a resource, so we have been um, getting so many COVID questions um, from the public, um, you know, before pregnancy, during pregnancy, breastfeeding, um, just because the CDC listed us as um, a reliable resource that the public could tap into. So we're, we're feeling it all over the country. <laughs> we're feeling it here in New England, but we're glad that we can be there. That's what we're here for. We are the only service here in New England playing that role. Um, and how people mainly get to know about us is through the doctor's offices. So OBGYN practices, um, midwives, doulas refer to us, and that's how they get connected to us. And then, you know, they can call on their own, and sometimes um, we are also a resource for the clinician when they're trying to keep up with the fast-changing medical environment and information for their patients. So I think on both ends for the provider as well as the public, what makes us unique is just our access, um, you know, to information that we can rely that they just can't seem to lay their hands on to help them with the decision when necessary. Just recently, um, Dealing with COVID, I had a pregnant woman who wanted to know, should I get this shot during my pregnancy? Or can I really just hold off on it? And she came to us and I presented to her the information available from the American College of Obstetrics Gynecologists, as well as the Centers for Disease Control, and what information we presently had available. And while they are telling all pregnant women that the decision is there, because of the information we had, she felt more um, able to make a decision for her pregnancy that she just didn't get before. I'm just glad that we're here for that purpose and reason. And so having the funding to keep going um, is vital um, to keep us in operation. You know, there's so many people who say, I wish I knew about you in my first pregnancy. You know, I didn't know about you. And, um, you know, they just find us invaluable and they say I will refer people to you and I will call again so that's vital.